they tend to look around the town, see where the nearest is a live resource coming from. So CK was going to look off and my coach said I had to beat him on each of those looks. Okay, so that uh, and then he said to me, there's a, there's a good chance that CK will try to break away from me sometime because he has to get those 10 yards up. So the good chance he'll break away, but I wanted to go with him. So basically I had my instruction. So when CK came away with his instruction, his instruction was, before, first of all, as I said before, first of all, uh, he's never beaten you away from him, so you don't let him do it this time. And all you have to do is beat him by 10 strikes, which you always have. So I'm sure that he basically felt good about that. And he said, uh, I have a chief, I have a hunch that Rayford is, is going to be on your shoulder and, and try to keep himself present in terms of what is going on in the race. And he says, don't worry about that. He says, because what I want you to do in the third lap is I want you to open up about 15 or 20 yard lead and then just run away from it. Coach said to me, don't let him go. So that we both had our instruction, we started the race, and we ran exactly that way. I ran on his shoulder. Every time he turned around, I got him on my toes and he turned him to fresh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he paid no attention to me. He turned right around and continued to run. He opened up about a 15 yard lead, third lap, and uh, was running strong, very strong. And, but I just did what my coach told me, so I made up the distance. And we, he beat me by four yards, which wasn't enough to win the goal. And the, 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 the thing I remember about that is not really not so much about the goal. I remember C.K. Young, uh, and I remember working with him for four years, and I knew how talented he was. He was probably the most talented athlete on the field in terms of knowledge of the events, in terms of his skills and abilities, and you, you might remember that he was a world record holder at uh, one time in the pole ball, which is a very difficult event, but he was very skillful. So I knew that I was up against a, a very strong challenge, uh, in the, actually throughout the decathlon, uh, but certainly in the 1500 meters. And you might also remember that CK beat me in seven of the 10 events. And I you know, was fortunate enough to get a few more inches in the, in the sharp distance in Jeff in order to, to, uh, to come out victorious. But uh, I, I think that my performance, uh, for a large part, was because CK was there. He was a tremendous challenge. Uh, and, and I think I challenged him a little bit. And I, I, I don't, as much as we both wanted to win, <laughs> Somehow, after we discussed it, we kind of knew we'd go down to the final event. I mean, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to discuss that. But because you don't want to do uh, uh, 10 events and have the decision made in the 10th event, which is an event, you know, probably not the most skilled. Uh, absolutely not the most skilled. <laughs> uh, but, I, but I think that his challenge made him a better athlete and certainly made me one. So, 